Razabane for IFL TV. Coogan, Cassius. I missed you yesterday. We were supposed to do an interview. And uh, I don't know how you escaped me, but here I am now without you. With Razavan from IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. Sugar Hill, how are we today? I'm doing excellent. Uh, just enjoying this sunny day in Manchester. What brings you to the uh, Boxer Series uh, press conference today? Well, I was just down in uh, London uh, with the press conference for Ben Whitaker announcing his, uh, his signing with a boxer and with Sky Sports. And uh, very excited about that. And uh, also, I guess, the announcement of me working with Ben uh, Whitaker as his, his trainer and uh, taking him to be a superstar, world champion superstar. So uh, after last night, coming up here to uh, Manchester, a nice drive on the motorway, and uh, coming up here to see this, check out this boxer series uh, with the cruiserweights. Let's talk about Ben. Obviously, one of the most decorated amateurs we have here in the country. Uh, became a silver, silver medalist at the Olympics. What did you see in him? Because I know you just don't work with anybody. What did you see in Ben to say, come on, let's, let's do some work together? I saw his athleticism, his character, charisma. Uh, he's got a bit of charm for the, for the public, for the people. He knows how to work the camera. He knows how to uh, you know, entertain. And uh, one of the things I mentioned was he reminds me of a, a young Roy Jones Jr. coming out of the Olympics, uh, a pure entertainer. And that's, that's the way I feel that Ben Whitaker is going to be. He's also uh, an exceptional athlete. He has a remarkable, like, uh, reflexes, like, to not get hit, like, to see punches coming and, and you know, just that ability to feel punches and see them coming before they come, like know what's going to happen. So I'm excited to work with him and to, to get him to get that knockout power and uh, start putting some sensational knockouts out there like Prince Nassim Hamed used to do. Absolutely. One of our legends of the, of the UK. How long does, would it take for someone like Ben to transition from the amateur game to the professional ranks? It's something that I really can't say because everyone has a different learning curve. So, uh, I believe that Ben, it shouldn't take him that long. I spent one week working with him in the, in the U.S. in Florida at a Warriors Boxing Gym in Hollywood, Florida. And we uh, just, you know, we clicked. And the things that I was showing him was kind of like, like just a lot rolled in one week. But uh, the things that he, I was showing him, uh, he was learning and catching on quick. I was just trying to touch some bases just to give him an idea of, of what I can do and, and uh, how I train. And, uh, yeah, pretty much... Ben's going to be moved, you know, accordingly. I, I just say it's fast uh, because he has that pedigree, he has that talent, he has that drive, and I love it. I was going to ask you about that because you get some fighters that move relatively quick and become world champions after 14, 13, 15 fights. You get other, other fighters that like to take their time, get to 18, 19, 20, and they go through the ranks slowly. You know, what, what's your perception on this? I just think you should go when you're ready. So if it takes someone 18 fights, that's when they're ready. If it takes someone's 10, it takes someone two, then they're ready. Everyone is on a different learning curve. Everyone uh, achieves things at a different pace. So we just have to just watch Ben and uh, know which, which way to move after that. In terms of training setup, are you going to be based in the UK or is he going to be flying out to America? So uh, yeah, see, I'm familiar with these questions now, but uh, as far as training, We'll just train wherever the fight's at. So just to keep it simple, uh, if the fight's in the, in the UK, then that's where we're training at. If you have a fight's in the US, that's where we're training at. If he fight's in China, Dubai, uh, fight's on a big barge out in the ocean, that's where we're training at. Just train. It's just best to train in the time zone of where you're training, you know, where you're going to be fighting at. So we try to keep it that way, keep it simple. But you do love the UK, don't you? Ah, oh, come on. You see I'm here. You see the sun's only out because I'm here. <laughs> Um, Sugar, obviously you know Tyson better than most people. He says he's retired. Is he going to stay retired? Listen, Tyson Fury is 6'9", 270 pounds. He's bigger than me. I'm 5'9", 175. I'm not going against him. He's retired, he's retired. I'm not going to say anything different. You're trying to get me caught with one of them shots that you can't see since he's learning how to set him up and put all that power behind it. I'm not going to get caught with a dose of my own medicine. Let me rephrase the question in a different way. If an opportunity came for him to become the undisputed heavyweight champion, would you think about it? Don't know. 
It's uh, it, it 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 is and it has been very frustrating for him, uh, and, and depressing and a mental challenge of having big fights present themselves and then be taken away. So I, I don't know if he wants to go through that again, or does he just keep himself away from it altogether so he don't have to go through it. Let's talk a little about Anthony Joshua and Alexander Usyk. It looks like that fight's going to take place July 23rd is the date, and it looks like it's going to land in the Middle East to be confirmed, but that's what Eddie Hearn has, has mentioned in his recent interview with us. What does Anthony Joshua have to do different to beat Alexander Usyk, considering he's going to have a semi-new team in the background? A little bit, so I don't get to... I'm not going to tell you what he should do different, because that would be something for me to do. But, yeah, he needs to throw more punches. <laughs> that would be a start. Is it an easier fight or a harder fight? I think it would be a harder fight. Uh, both fighters know each other from being in there with each other already, so that would make it a harder fight for both fighters. Or it could be an easier fight for both fighters. Depends on who uh, who got the best of, not the best of us who won, but who got the best learning lesson from that fight. Do you, can you pick a winner? Nope. I'm not in there and I don't have anything to do with it, so it's hard for me to pick a winner. <laughs> I'm just going to move on quickly. Obviously last weekend um, we saw Canelo De daring to be great, moved up weight class again to fight Dimitri Brivol. Um, he lost that fight, but he got a lot of hate. A lot of people saying he's not good enough and Eddie Reynoso is not good enough after he decided to move up in weight. What did you make of that whole commotion? Uh, for me, I keep things simple, but I, I don't really feel that Canelo, and, and I'm, I'll say it like this because it's a cause of controversy, but I, I mean it all well. I don't think that he's good enough for light heavyweight. I mean, he's a small frame, and it's, uh, there's nothing against him not saying he's good enough. It's just for that weight division. That's like saying he's not good enough for cruiserweight. He's not good enough for heavyweight. That's just my own personal belief. He's not a big man. He's accomplished so much in boxing, and he tried. He gave it a great try. So you can't be mad at that for him trying, you know, to see if he can. You know, it's, uh, I just believe that it's been, it's been shown that he really, he's really not a light heavyweight, and he gave it a try. He's won the light heavyweight championship before. So, uh, but when you have different fighters in the light heavyweight division that you have to compete against, that's when it gets difficult. So, he had to face a, uh, a different opponent and Bivol, and, uh, and it showed, like, yeah, this, this is light heavyweight. So, like, welcome to the light heavyweight division. But he put every effort he could into it. I mean, I saw him. He was trying different things, but, you know, it was just, uh, it was just more difficult than probably what he assumed it was going to be. And uh, Bivol fought a great fight. He uh, stuck to his game plan. He boxed like a strong, he boxed like a strong light heavyweight, and uh, that's what the heavyweight division, the light heavyweight division, is about. As the weight divisions go up, the fight it. I mean, you get stronger, you get bigger. And uh, what Canelo's what five eight, five nine, maybe five seven. I'm not sure, but I mean, moving up like that, it's a, it's a, it's a big challenge, and it's a, it's a lot to take on. So he he gave it a good try. He did win the light heavyweight division championship. So. You can't knock him for that. It's just a different opponent, and he wasn't able to bear that. Just a, just a final one. Obviously, Bivol has said that he would like to go down to 168. He'd like to have an undisputed fight for the super middleweight title. Is it a different fight at 168? It's definitely a different fight. That's why they have. That's why they have weight divisions. You know, the weight divisions. If it wasn't, if it didn't make that much of a difference, they would only have a few weight divisions as they did back in the, the 30s and the 40s and the 50s. Now we have a weight division for pretty much almost every five pounds, just about. So uh, they make these weight divisions to make it more competitive and, uh, you know, to keep the game uh, fair and to keep it safe. Right, well, Sugar Hill, thank you so much for a little bit of your time. Have you got much planned over the next couple of days in Manchester? Suntanning. <laughs> Keep on smiling, Sugar, and thank you very much, and enjoy the rest of the week, and enjoy fight night if you're here. Thank you, Sugar Hill, baby. Sugar Hill, IFL TV, thank you very much. Team Everlast, so the Team Everlast Fitness Act. Download the Everlast Fitness app and find your greatness within.